Hey guys, I've got Sana with me hey. today. You've never been on my channel before. I haven't, ah! I haven't. In the video about um, being single, I kind of mentioned that I was done with online dating and I couldn't be bothered with it before. So obviously now we're gonna make a video about online dating. So my dating backstory is that I didn't really date up until like two years ago. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, hmm. I kind of want to give it a go. And I actually had a couple of friends around me that were seeing people off of dating websites and mm -hmm. I was like, those are some really nice guys. I, I like I like this. And so I sort of went on a year of going on online dates and sort of, you know, I, I, I feel like I went into it thinking of it as a bit of a social experiment, like, oh, mm -hmm. let's see what this is like. And I mean, I've been seeing someone for like a year and a half. Success story! Very good! And um, I'm feeling lonely, so I'm like, Sana, I'm desperate, help me. <laughs> and I really enjoy sort of talking through what I did yeah. to make it work for me. The first thing we're gonna do is reactivate da -da -da. my profile. <laughs> Here we go. There it is. Ah. Very nice! <laughs> These are all general tips. And the first mm -hmm. one that I think is the one of the most important ones is to like pull up the security gates. So what I did is I immediately put on the filter that was only people with an 85% match or higher can message me. And that's how you sort of get rid of most of the harassment. So that is that is tip number one for me. At least you know you won't get any people that are like entirely different from like what you're looking for. Tip number two is about pictures. So let's see what you have. Six pictures, good number Six. I think. Yeah. Not too many, it's not like a whole like Facebook album. <laughs> so basically what I did as my strategy okay. was I put my best picture as my second picture. Ooh, so my idea was like my first picture was still like a good picture, but I don't want people to go in and then go from and then the be best disappointed. <laughs> to something and also I want people to like me for what I look like usually. Just looking human. Yeah, so that's one of my tips, like, have your first picture be a nice picture, but one that looks like you. Mm -hmm. And then you can always, if you have, like, more glamorous shots or whatever. Glam. Glam, glam, glam. Tip number three that's attached to that, and that okay. is show your friends your pictures and ask them, honestly, does is this what I look like? Sana, is this what I look like? Yes, I think it is. And you also have like a full body shot, which is always good. Yeah. I think this is a good mix. And then you've done like a friend picture towards the end, which is nice. So they yeah. have to guess like which one you are. I would probably <laughs> put a picture in as well that has like, cause you have a lot of, lots of cute dresses and pictures from like premieres and stuff. Yeah, but I don't want to like you don't be wanna... all braggy and like that. Like the only braggy picture that I have in there is me um, with the radio one mic. Cause then people are like, Radio one, hey. So you've done really well on my next point, which is the don't fill out too much, but also don't do too little. So sometimes you'll go into someone's profile and they've put like two or three words for every question. Mm -hmm. But you want to know a bit more. You can't go off of like three lines. Yeah, yeah. And obviously if you're on different dating apps, they sort of go off really like very little information. Yeah, I've had some people that are basically having conversations with themselves in their profile and it's meant to come <laughs> off as like a bit unhinged, yeah. basically. I find the writing of your profile and answering the questions, the hardest thing to do. Yeah. For me, the best way to do it, I sort of try to write as I would usually write, mm -hmm. and then I left some Easter eggs. So I'm gonna get Ooh, to that. What are the Easter eggs? <laughs> the biggest critique I had on other people's profiles when I was looking for dates was they would forget to show, not tell. So they would say, I'm sarcastic mm. and witty. And I'm like, well, if you're sarcastic and witty, oh. just write something that's like yeah, that witty, but don't say that you're witty, if that makes sense. Yeah, so the Easter eggs I did, basically. My idea was that if they ask you for your favorite films, your favorite music, and your favorite books, and I, what I did is I put lots of general ones in there. So like, lots of people like Game of Thrones. That's mm -hmm. cool. But then I put some things in that I thought not a lot of people might no, and if they do know it, I'd yeah, really like, points, like it. Points, points, points. So I put like Galaxy Quest in it, which is like a really weird. I think it's like a two thousand and something film with Alan Rickman in space. <laughs> like it's great. <laughs> and I actually got lots of messages from people saying, "Oh my god, you love Galaxy Quest." Uh, so, so if you can like, find yeah. the thing that if someone else will see it and go, oh, "That person likes that thing that not a lot of people like, but I do like," then that's a good conversation starter. Interesting. So yeah, you can sort of go like quite general and then put some specific ones in that if someone picks that one out, you'll know that that's a good sign. So this is about the, the messaging bit. I don't know, if you get messages, what would they usually be about? <sighs> kind of like what you said, like, oh, you like this thing, um, blah, 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 I like it too. Mm -hmm. Who's your favorite character or what's this, da, da, da. Or they're really interested in my job and what I do and they ask loads of questions about that. And then I'm immediately bored. I have these conversations with people every day. I put some specific questions in my profile and so it's like what my favorite tube line is 
I got like so many messages from people and like 100% the Jubilee line or like Central Line's the best and okay, because yeah, it's like yeah. quite London Victoria based. line Victoria line but oh, wait no Circle opinion. line sorry <laughs> And so I would try and put some like open things in it yeah. that people can go, oh, okay, this is something I can easily message about. Mm-hmm. Um, just because they just, you know, people are just looking for conversation starters, really. Yeah. So the more you give them to work with, the easier it is for them. The other thing I did mm-hmm. is that I put a dating idea in my profile. Ah. Um, and so I said I really wanted to go to a museum late. Basically, I just tried to make it as easy as possible to get in touch and have <laughs> a like, conversation. I'm, I'm handing this yeah. to you. <laughs> Because I don't want to make, I didn't want to make it a test. I just want to make it like, if this sounds like the person you'd like to go on a date with, Ooh. then here are the kind of dates I'd like to go Did on. Did you get a date to a museum late? Not until I started actually dating someone. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, basically giving them as many things to work with. Uh, and I could see that I had three things in my profile that everyone messaged me about. Those are the three Galaxy things. Galaxy Quest. It was Galaxy Quest and Firefly. The tube and then, line. Yep, and then I also said I had synesthesia. There's oh, so lots of people okay. being like, oh, what's that? Like, I oh. think I put in my profile, what's the most personal thing you're willing mm-hmm. to be open about? I have ulcerative colitis. It's shit. And everyone was like, was that a pun? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and then Good you work. just end up talking about poo. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what a way to start. <laughs> um, that is sort of the profile stuff I had. Okay. When it comes to messaging, what kind of messenger are you? When I was using it, I would like go through profiles and I had to be like really compelled by someone's profile to mm-hmm. message them. I only went on two dates mm. from the dating website and two dates from like Tinder. How long did you talk to them before you agreed to go on a date? Because I have a theory about I don't this know. as well. Maybe only like a week. So my usual strategy was that on like a Tuesday I would think, oh, I'd love to go on a date this weekend. Yeah. So I'd go on with a specific purpose. I'm going to chat with someone and then if I like them I'm going to ask them out on a date or I'm going to wait until they ask me out on a date. For me there was a rule where I was like I don't really want to have more than like 10 or 12 exchanges. Do you say this to them? I'll say it at some point but basically I don't want to have a three hour conversation with someone online if I don't know if they're even interested in actually meeting up like I didn't do like full like huge paragraphs it was just like a short conversation yeah you chat a little bit maybe like over the course of one or two days and then I'd be like hey you want to grab a drink on Friday I know how awful this sounds um because so many people meet their partners from online dating now Mm -hmm. but I still there is like this barrier there's Mm -hmm. this wall for me of being like I do not want to have to tell my children that we met online and I, I hate that that still is in I've my head. I've met so many of my friends online. Yeah. And like everyone I know here I've met online. But it's like an on an online dating site mm-hmm. where it's like, this is what I'm looking for. Rather than just like, because I've met friends online, like mm-hmm. through Twitter or YouTube yeah. and things like that. But that seems different because that's not the purpose of it. I, I, very, I very quickly realized, like, I wouldn't meet the kind of person that I wanted to date at a bar just because of my personality and stuff like that. Okay, yeah. And so I was like, where am I going to meet them? They're yeah. probably on the internet, like me. <laughs> <laughs> did you message a lot of guys, or did you sort of wait for messages to come in? Um, I mean, messages just came in, mm-hmm. and I would ignore most of them. Yeah. I did message people because I knew that the people that I was messaging... I actually genuinely wanted to have a conversation with. Yeah. A lot of the guys that I sort of talk through will say that they don't get that many messages from girls Mm. um, on the website. That seems to be a thing where it's like girls get lots of messages in and guys rarely do. So I always just want to be like, if you just want to send a message to anyone that you're interested in, you should just do it. Yeah. And I also have my tip number 10. Is this the final one? Which is that all rules are made to be broken. Ooh! (laughs) <laughs> this worked for me. Yeah. And it's an interesting thing to just think about. Like, all these things are things to think about while you're writing your profile, yeah, while you're yeah. doing it. But obviously, different things work for different people. Like you said, some people want to have, like, really long conversations before they meet up with someone. Yeah. But one of the things I will say is I was watching a few TED Talks and stuff mm-hmm. about attraction and about, like, dating and things. And one of the things that, like, professionals say is that you have to meet up with the person as soon as possible Mm. because you can develop whatever connection with someone online but ultimately you're not going to know if you have that unexplainable spark connection attraction to them or like if the conversation flows well like in person it's so important i'm not sure if i'm convinced guys what do you think should i start Mm. online dating again all right well 
Thanks, Sana. No worries. For, I hope that was useful. Imparting your wisdom on us all. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you let us know your own experiences with online dating, different apps, websites, if you have met your partner through online dating. Um, yeah. You've got the perfect trick. Yeah, your own tips and things, like little hacks, mm. um, that would be great. We did a video over on Sana's channel, so you should go and subscribe to her, and we talked about our favourite 90s films, yes. which was very cool. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe, because I make new videos every week, and we'll see you soon. Bye! Bye!